earlier we have discussed the concept of dyslexia and its causes. Now, we shall discuss second type of learning disability that is dysgraphia. Dysgraphia is a type of writing disability. The word dysgraphia basically means difficulty in expressing thoughts in writing and difficulty in performing motor movements needed for handwriting. Dysgraphia is a writing disability in which a student finds it hard to write within a defined space. Dysgraphia can appear as difficulties with spelling, poor handwriting and trouble putting thoughts on paper. Dysgraphia is a deficiency in the ability to write primarily handwriting. On the basis of research, the common characteristics of children with dysgraphia are the children with learning dysgraphia is slow in writing. Second is the handwriting of the child with dysgraphia may be poor and the third characteristic is the child with dysgraphia may not complete his notes and test paper within the stipulated time. This is about some common characteristic of dysgraphia. Let us discuss what are the signs and symptoms of dysgraphia. The signs and symptoms of dysgraphia may differ from one child to another. Generally, symptoms shows up when a child starts school. Parents or teacher may notice symptoms when the child first begins writing assignment in school. The signs of dysgraphia include number one, a child with dysgraphia may have unclear irregular or inconsistent handwriting. Number two, a child with dysgraphia may have bad or illegible handwriting. They have difficulty in following a line or staying within margin. A child with dysgraphia use frequently eraser. A child with dysgraphia may have inconsistency in letter and word spacing. They have poor spelling including unfinished words or missing words. Other symptoms are a child with dysgraphia may have unusual wrist, body or paper position while writing. A child with dysgraphia may have the painful grip on, the, on a pencil. They also tend to write a copy things slowly. They trouble with sentence structure or following rules of grammar when writing, but not when speaking. They have difficulty in organizing or in articulating thoughts on paper. They speak the words loudly while writing. They omit words in sentences. For example, limp L I M P as lip or went w e n t as wet. They add letters in the word. For example, want w a n t say w h a t what or w h e what as w h a r t. That means, they add the letter in the word. Their speed of writing is abnormal, slow or fast. These are the common signs and symptoms of dysgraphia. Now, we shall discuss causes of dysgraphia. Now, similarly to dyslexia, the cause of dysgraphia is development of brain. Dysgraphia is a biologically based disorder with genetic and brain basis. That is, it is a working memory problem. In dysgraphia, individuals fail to develop normal connections among different brain region needed for writing. Because of complication in the development of brain, students with dysgraphia have difficulty in automatically remembering and mastering the sequence of motor movements required to write letters or numbers. The next cause is exposure to X-ray and chemical radiations. If a pregnant woman is exposed to x-ray, then the baby may be impaired and the 
work place and living place should be free from chemical exposure and radiation which may harm the baby's development. And the last common uh, cause is lack of healthy environment in the family may cause dysgraphia in the babies. These are the causes of dysgraphia. Let us discuss types of dysgraphia. There are three sub types of dysgraphia that are recognized. Number one, dyslexia dysgraphia, number two, motor dysgraphia and number three is spatial dysgraphia. Some children may have a combination of two or more of this dysgraphia. We shall discuss these three types in detail. The first type of dysgraphia is dyslexic dysgraphia. People with dyslexic dysgraphia have illegible spontaneously written work. Their copied work is fairly good, but their spelling is usually poor. Their finger trapping speed is normal, indicating that the deficit does not likely stem from cerebral damage. Second type of dysgraphia is motor dysgraphia. Motor dysgraphia occurs due to poor fine motor skills, dexterity and low muscle tone. Written work is often poor to illegible both when copied or original. Later formation can be done well through extreme effort and a long time. The poor grip on writing instrument results in slanting writing, but spelling is not impaired. Finger trapping speeds are below average. Overall, their written work is poor to illegible even if copied from another document. Now, the next type of dysgraphia is spatial dysgraphia. The spatial dysgraphia occurs because the student does not understand spacing. They will have illegible spontaneously written work, illegible copied work and problems with drawing abilities. They have normal spelling and normal finger trapping speed, suggesting that this subtype is not fine motor based. So, these are the types of dysgraphia.